What's up, y'all? It's King Rancher 13. Welcome back to another video. Got your boy Colin Mercer here again, and we're gonna be doing something on the GMC that we didn't do last time. So y'all make sure to watch to the end and uh, see the whole process here. But anyways, we've got some barbecue sandwich for lunch, and now we gotta fill up the truck real quick. So we're in the dually right now while um, the GMC uh, is at the shop, and so we're gonna fill up real quick and then head over to the shop, and we're gonna get going on putting this lift in. One of my favorite things, big rig hose. Fills up really quick. You need help? Today we're going to be putting on the rear end of the lift. Click here to see the video of us lifting the front, but now we're finally put on the back and now we're not going to be doing the Carolina squat no more. So it's going to lift the rear two inches. We're going to go ahead and get the jack get all the tools, get all the parts, and uh, we're gonna get going on tearing this part. Shirtless dad. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day. Yesterday we got done too late to do a walk around of the truck outside. Uh, this morning just had a couple things to get through with uh, Abram on editing some videos for y'all. But got a call from Josh this morning. They're on that job there at the tree farm and they're running out of fuel on their man lift. Thankfully, I have a transfer tank. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go fill up transfer tank all the way to full and then go over to the tree farm, fill their man lift up and then come back and fill up. That way I can tell the difference of how much fuel we use and stuff like that. So we're gonna just do that real quick. I think it'd be a little fun little deal here. So uh, we're gonna get going on that. All right, pull and fill up real quick. Don't mind that bird crap there. This is the off-road dyed diesel. There we go. Right now, diesel is 258 for off-road. There we go. So 17.9 gallons is what I use, $46. And then we're gonna go fill up now for them and then come back and check it. All right, fixing to pull up. Let's see, uh, probably gonna come to this front grass right here and back over to them. So, this is how I got our fuel tank rigged up. Number six, hot all the time. I'll make a video here soon on how I did that. That's all I gotta do. There it is right there. and to shut off the tank, I took off the handle there and I just flip that off. That's it, no problem. All right, let's get going. Well, never mind. They are fixing that machine right now. <laughs> In the 10 minutes I was gone, they go fill up. Uh, I guess somebody broke the machine or something. They, were, they had a company there fixing the, the meter, so. I guess I'll have to just come back later. Okay, after working on the Chevy and getting that all completely buttoned up so that we can do a walk around. All right, now we're gonna leave. And before I leave, I'm gonna buckle up because one of y'all mentioned that I had forgotten to wear my seatbelt. So 
my bad y'all i wear a seatbelt. i just did in that video i guess i don't know maybe maybe some of y'all go back and look at the other videos sometimes i forget i have short-term memory loss or something like that all right well that guy isn't there working on it now so let's see if that means it's fixed or if that means it's down i don't see a sticker on it yeah it's working all right okay Let's take the cap off first. Let's see how much Josh owes me. There we go. But actually, cool thing I'm gonna do is, while it's filling up, I'm gonna have y'all guess down in the comments below. Whoever gets the closest, um, I'm gonna be sending a free hat, outdoor trucks hat. So comment down below and let me know what your guess on how much it's gonna cost Josh and Colby. All right, we're all filled up. All right, so it's the next morning finally. Got the truck detailed and got it uh, cleaned up so I can present it to y'all. I'm all about that presentation. So let me back up here. Let's go outside and check this sucker out. So before I show y'all, if you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit that so it helps our channel out. All right, here we go, ready? Looks like it's nose down, but I measured there and there, there and there. It's about the same, like maybe a half inch difference. I took this thing on a spin yesterday evening after I got it back from the wash and it drove pretty good so I'm pretty satisfied with how the ride quality is as far as the look and all that stuff I mean I think it looks perfect in my opinion it looks pretty darn good I think it's to where I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it now maybe a toolbox yeah I don't know comment down below what else I should do to this truck and I know y'all have been commenting about performance stuff for this truck don't leave that in the comments can't do that kind of stuff no more y'all make sure to hit our shop up and Give us a call if you have any questions regarding that kind of stuff because there's too much going on nowadays. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit up our website for some merch. Until next time, guys. Peace out.